morning, children. You are all welcome to Sunday school. Let us close our eyes for prayer. In Jesus' name, in the mighty name of Jesus, our Lord and our God, we thank you for protecting us. We thank you for bringing us to your presence once again. We thank you for our parents. We thank you for our teachers. We thank you, Lord, for being our God. Accept our thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Father, we are asking that you will come and teach us your word today in Jesus' name. Make us to be doers of your word. Save us, sanctify us, and baptize us with your Holy Ghost. Let us go home giving glory and honor unto you. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Good morning once again and welcome to Primary Park class. Children, last night I had a bad dream and I want one of you to tell me what I dreamt about. Can anyone tell me? No, teacher. That is not possible. Mm, I thought as much. So today we will learn about a king that made this kind of request. He told his wise men and magician to interpret his dream, but he would not tell them the dream. They just had to know and if they did not know, they would all die. The title of our lesson, therefore, is Who Knows the King's Dream? Our memory verse is taken from Psalm 91, verse 15. Psalm 91, verse 15. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. Our Bible text is taken from Daniel chapter 2, from verse 1 to 19 and 47 to 48. But because of our time, we'll be reading only a few verses and I will read. Children, can we all open your Bible to Daniel chapter 2? I'll be reading from verse 1. Verse 1. And in the second year of the reign of Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar dreamed dreams wherewith his spirit was troubled and his sleep break from him. Then the king commanded to call the magicians and the astrologers and the sorcerers and the Chaldeans for to show the king his dreams. So they came and stood before the king. And the king said unto them, I have dreamed a dream and my, my spirit was troubled to know the dream. 12. For this cause the king was angry and very furious and commanded to, de to destroy all the wise men of Babylon. 16. Then Daniel went in and desired of the king that he would give him time, and that he would show the king the interpretation. 17. Then Daniel went to his house and made the thing known to Ananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, his companion. 18. That they would desire mercy of the God of heaven concerning this secret that Daniel and his fellows should not perish with the rest of the wise men of Babylon. 19. There was a secret revealed unto Daniel in a night vision, that Daniel blessed the God of heaven. 47 and the last verse. The king answered unto Daniel and said, Of a truth it is, that your God is a God of gods, and a Lord of kings, and a revealer of secrets. Saying that thou couldest reveal this secret. Children, can we please close our Bible and look up? From this Bible passage we just read, we can see that King Nebuchadnezzar is a mighty king of Babylon, but he did not believe or serve the true living God. One day, the king had a bad, terrifying dream, and when he woke up, he could not remember his dream. Then the king called his wise men and magicians who worship idols like him to tell him his dream. But the magicians and the wise men said to the king, Please tell us your dream and then we will tell you what it means. But the king said to them, You must tell me the dream and then you must tell me what it means. If you don't, I will give an order to have you all killed. But if you tell me my dream and explain its meaning, I will give you gifts and great honor. 
So tell me about my dream and what it means. The magician said to the king, There is not a man on earth who can do what the king is asking. The king became so angry and threatened to kill all the wise men and magicians in the land. Daniel and his friend lived in Babylon at this time, but they served the true living God. So when Daniel heard of the king's decree, that the king is going to kill all the magicians and wise men in Babylon, he went to see the king because he knows that the true God can help him. Daniel then asked the king to give him time that the true God will help him to know the king's dream. Children, what did Daniel do when he got back home? Daniel called all his friends and they went on their knees and they prayed to God Almighty. Praise the living God! Because he always answers prayer. He answers Daniel's prayer in a miraculous way. The true living God revealed the king's dream to Daniel. Daniel was able to tell the king about the king's dream. And the king gave Daniel a gift and made him a ruler in Babylon. Children, what can we learn from this story? We learned that our God is a powerful God. He can do anything. When we are in trouble, we need to pray to God Almighty for help. Just like one of our songs says, prayer is a master key. It opens the door to any of anything from God. Prayer is a way of talking to God. We also must be like Daniel in prayer. We must go to the Lord about our fears, hope, and even our happy times. The key lesson is, I will talk to God. Activities for ages 2 to 5. Use the first letter of each picture below to discover what God did. Fill in the blanks to complete the sentence. Ages 6 to 8. Complete the following prayer with your own words or just circle the words that say what you feel. And then make a list of other things you can talk to the Lord about. Our lesson for next week is titled, God was with them. The key verse is Daniel chapter 3 verse 17. That is the end of our lesson. See you next Sunday. Bye. Good morning to you all and welcome to Answer Class. The title of our lesson today is A Willing Giver. Our text is from Proverbs chapter 3 verses 9 and 10 and Matthew chapter 19 verses 16 to 22. We are not going to read all but we will read selected few but before we read i want to show you something here i have measuring spoon which we use to measure ingredients again i have measuring cup for flour, rice, or anything you want to measure. I have a ruler here. It's for measuring as well, but this is in construction line. I have tape measure as well, tape rule to you to measure material. The common thing with all these instruments is they are all using for measuring. That will take us to our key verse, which is taken from Luke chapter 6, verse 38. Give, and it shall be given unto you. Let's take our Bible now and read 
from Proverbs chapter 3, verses 9 and 10. Honor the Lord with thy substance and with the first fruits of all thine increase. So shall thy barns be filled with plenty, and thy presses shall burst out with new wine. Matthew chapter 19 from 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? 17. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is, God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. 20. The young man saith unto him, All these things have I kept from my youth up. What lack I? Jesus said unto him, If thou wilt be perfect, go and sell that thou hast, and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come and follow me. 22. But when the young man heard that saying, he went away sorrowful, for he had great possessions. Let's close our Bible and keep it by our side to listen to our lesson. You know, God wants a willing giver. It is good to give, because in that memory verse, he said, Give, and it shall be given unto you. In our lesson story, Thalma, she has learned the blessings that is in giving to God and giving to children of God. We have many examples in the Bible of willing giving and how God blesses them. Abraham, he gave the tenth of what he had to the Lord, and we were told that he was the richest man in, the, in their days. Example of a small boy who gave his packed lunch willingly to Jesus, Jesus blessed it. Many people were fed. He was happy, and other people are happy too. We remember the widow of Sarephas. He gave willingly to Elijah when Elijah asked him to give him food. We were told God blessed her that throughout the famine, he had, she had food to eat and her son and the man of God. What about the Shunammite woman who provided accommodation for Elisha? Because he did it willingly, God blessed her with a child that she didn't even ask for. You know, when we give, God will give us back. We've been studying about it's all yours. Our head, our hand, our body, our will. Now it comes to money, our money. If we give to God, God will bless us. You can say, where will I get the money to pay tents? When uncle or auntie comes to you, and they gave you 10 pounds, one pound is for the Lord, and God will bless you for doing that. We have example of our day. I remember a small boy, when there was need in the church, he brought his bank that he has been putting 1p, 2p, 5p, gave it to the pastor that, oh, can they use this one? God is blessing him now. He's happy in the Lord 
singing in the choir. We too, we can do that. The best thing we can give to God is ourself, our life. Jesus himself, he gave himself willingly for us. He died on the cross to save us. Jesus, Jesus will bless us if we obey his commandments. We won't be like that man that went away sorrowful. We don't want to be sorrowful. We want to be glad in the Lord. That is our lesson. And our key statement is, I will be a willing giver. God will help us to give willingly to the Lord and he will bless us abundantly. That will be the end of our lesson for today. The activity is what will I get? Use the vortex verse to get the answer of another way to write Luke chapter 6 verse 38. Our next week lesson is lesson 90. What is really important? Thank you, children. God bless you. Shall we pray? Oh Lord, we thank you for today. We thank you for the primary past lesson that let us know that when we pray, you will answer. Thank you for the answer lesson. Help us to be a willing giver. Write your word in our heart. Help us to be dwellers of your word. And at last, take us to heaven. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, children. Bye-bye. See you next week. Thank you, boys and girls, for joining today's Sunday School. We hope and pray you enjoyed. Have a wonderful week ahead. God bless you. Bye.